I'm Jeanette Burke, influencer, online media personality, on-camera trainer, and TV show podcast host of the four-time award-winning lifestyle web TV show, Jeanette's TV, and its sister spinoff, Jeanette's TV Podcast, and our new series, JTV Instagram Live Short. You want to follow me on Instagram to watch? Just check the link below. Welcome to another Media Insights with Jeanette. As an expert or thought leader with a book, speech, or coaching program that you want to promote in the media, it's very important to understand the real purpose of most media interviews so that you can make the best of them. Now, my on-camera training and interview clients, they come to me all the time expressing concerns about dumbing down their content. And they prefer to fully educate the audience. They want their media interviews to include all of the nuances and details that they feel their message and story deserves. And they bristle at the idea of reducing years worth of work down to media friendly sound bites, which are basically 90 seconds or less little clips that are content that's easily digestible. If I can't thoroughly explain my business product or service, what's the point in doing a media interview? Do you know how many times they ask me that? To which I have to explain. The problem is, is that most TV hosts and journalists rarely run 20 to 30 minute interviews with just one guest. The average for a national TV broadcast is three to seven minutes, nor do they publish 800 plus word articles or quotes in their news stories. In fact, according to a study from Harvard Center for Media and Public Affairs, the average soundbite airing on the evening news is just 7.3 seconds. The same is true for print where an average quote generally runs no more than 20 to 25 words. With this in mind, the desire of interviewees or spokespersons to say more and the need for hosts and journalists to cover or print less. It's essential that you learn how to hone down your message to a few key talking points. You never know what will make air or end up in print and you don't want to be cut off mid-sentence without completing a complete thought, risking your message being taken out of context or misquoted. But if you say everything about your message or your business, you'll be remembered for nothing. So here's a really crude analogy that truly sticks. Think of media interviews as a gateway drug. Your goal isn't to say everything. You can't. Rather, it's to hook your audience just enough so that they want to learn more and get involved. The real purpose of most media interviews that capture audiences' attention isn't to be comprehensive and fully educate them. It's to inspire members of the audience to take the next step. A well-delivered media interview might persuade a portion of them to visit your website, call you, join your mailing list or Facebook group, and this will ultimately lead them to buy your book, attend your lecture, or register for your course. Media interviews work best in two steps. The first step is to get a portion of the audience interested enough to take a second step. And in that second step, they'll seek more information and become better educated, but outside the confines of the time limited media interview that they just saw in step one. If you're serious about making media interviews part of your marketing and you would like to stop trying to say everything and start thinking about the parts of your message that are most likely to get audiences interested enough to take the next step, I can help you. I'm taking four experts or thought leaders who have been in business maybe three years or three years or more, and they do have a book or a speech or a coaching program. 
that they do want promoted in the media. I'm taking them under my wing to share all of my on-camera training and interviewing secrets with. Will you be one of them? Visit www.JeanetteBurke.com, link below, to learn more about me and my interview showcase package with on-camera training as an option and apply today. I want to see you in the spotlight.